today we set the sails we set our stay sail and we took two reefs on our main and we lifted our anchor in an uh, island called Polegandros and we have 30 miles to do upwind to an island called Milos I think in Milos we are gonna spend like a week or something to wait for the weather window to turn to Peloponnese um, and from there we can check the weather window to cross to Sicily so today we, it's the first time we removed the bimini to have more sun, like this it's warmer. I guess this is uh, Milos is gonna be our last cyclad island and after that we are gonna hit the Greek mainland like I said and then back to sea city again because it's end of September, it's 24th today, Saturday and you can feel that the autumn is starting. Nice boats, uh, getting more chilly. So yeah, we are still taking the maximum out of it. Sucky as well. And like this, we are going. Knots of wind from the nose. This is our fast food when we don't really want to deal with cooking too much. So just gonna put some peso on it and some and tomatoes, and that's it. We took just one reef now in the main because the <clears throat> wind has decreased a little bit. But we still have over 20 miles to go. But it's not that bad. I mean, for me, the one that is always scared, it is actually quite okay. Just had our nukies. Uh, now I feel bad. We, we did something really stupid this morning. We, we didn't have breakfast and we went to a friend's boat that was there in the anchorage with us. They uh, invited us for over a coffee. We had the coffee, the coffee was really good, but uh, we are not used to drink any more regular coffee. We are drinking decaffeinated coffee. And we had a regular one uh, on, um, on an empty stomach. So we felt like crazy inside and I even felt like a little bit of hangover, I still do. So <clears throat> eating those gnocchi was a little bit hard, but I hope that by drinking a lot of water we will be a little bit better now. Whew. So we have still um, four hours to go at least. This is how we have uh, tied up our dinghy. We lifted the engine up here because it's really heavy. And as you can see, the dinghy is really close to the boat with two ropes. And just behind, like this. And the reason why we do that is like what? No chance it will flip and it uh, doesn't get exposed to the wind and the swell. We get wiser every year. <laughs> Co-captain and the captain.
Hey, cool captain. Where are we? Are we on course? There are some waves that are really big. We just got one. That's really close, no? Are you sure they see us? Oh my god, it's so close. It's scary. Seems quite empty. We're gonna get the massive wave now. Shaking. She's in her bed. It's okay, Safi. I think. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Okay, so I'm ready here to lose the main sheet just in case because it should get. Uh, well, it's really unpredictable this place. Even now there is some gusts and uh, we have maybe a little bit too much sail area so I'm ready to lose the main in, in case we need it. I'm just holding it and whenever the captain says his magical words then I will just let it go from here in the winch because the stopper is open there. This is my job here. Sitting here holding from the rope and making sure to let go whenever it's needed. This little channel between those islands here, Milos and I don't know what are those islands called, have been particularly um, challenging for us when uh, Jim is losing a bit the uh, sail, then he needs to trim it again, then he needs to lose it again, then it's, he needs to trim it again, so it's constant uh, changing. But we are almost at the tip of this Milos island and then we need to turn to the left. So soon we should have more downwind, hopefully, and we have 10 miles to do until the anchorage where we want to go. I'm just here hiding from the wind because it's cold, 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 cold wind. We have 10 miles to do. Miabel is inside, watching the cartoon. Like this, I don't need to stress about her. And I don't want to be inside either. I want to be here and help and see what thing is going on. <laughs> We're quite close to the mountain. Mountain, yes. It's a mountain, island mountain. What's up? What's up? Well, we are sailing to Milos. This island is called Milos. Okay. And we are gonna go around it like this. Uh -huh. Just where this catamaran is going, also. Okay. And we will go to the anchorage. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stay there for a few days. Mm -hmm. Explore the town and the island. Yeah. Do some groceries. And what is groceries? That we are gonna go to the food store and buy some food. This day has been extremely long. We just tried. We have, uh, I think, four miles to go until the anchorage, right? Four miles. So now I have a sun in my back again and it's warm, it's nice. I missed it. I am not missing it. You're not missing the sun? No, I'm Why? mad at the sun because I don't like the sun because it's coming in my 
If you sit here, the, you can sit properly so that it wouldn't come in your eyes. You want to sit from that side? Okay. And we're going to play some Lotte game, yeah? Some word game. Okay. Going nicely away from this rock. Okay. Uh, we have still four miles to go, but we dropped our main because we are really dead downwind. And the main was not really helping. So we're using just the general for now. Doing still decent, like three to four knots. Slowed us down this this jibe. What are you gonna do? It's it's really nice here. I see some really nice speech over there. Okay, Mimi, I'm ready to play. Okay. Really last bit we are doing just with the Genoa here. Starting to have a lot of wind. I'm an We are almost there. We are gonna anchor somewhere there. And this is Adamantas. Cute little village. Hey, vas-y. Essaye de l'autre côté, dans l'autre sens. Voilà, c'est plus facile. Vas-y, encore. Je te dis stop. Utilise tes deux mains. Voilà. Super. C'est bon. Merci, Captain. <rire> 